It's come to my attention that you and I and everyone who's ever been and everyone who ever will be until the immortals arrive carries a blessing, inherent uh, uh, wonder in our lives that uh, we, have, we will never know until uh, the, our, our children uh, have realized what they have lost. And that is the uh, blessing of the courage that comes with mortality. Um, I was, this thought came to me as I was pondering over the uh, state of the immortals, what their life would be like, and, and how their changes in their society, the challenges to their society, their social structure, families, uh, love, uh, longevity, uh, the fear of death, all those types of things, and that was the one that triggered it, was the fear of death, when I realized that the immortals are, uh, uh, depending on the type of immortality, how, how it is achieved, the immortals are likely to uh, uh, possibly have more reason to think about and, and worry over and concern themselves with death than, than we do, because because of the uh, great loss that they can uh, they, they can incur in, in, in being foolish and in, in, in having accidents occur that take rob them of that great treasure of immortality. Now, but however, you and I have uh, little such concern because of our our our, our brief our the brevity of our of our time here. We can we can trouble ourselves more with uh, the adventure of life. Or, or, or enjoy more the trouble, adventure of life and trouble ourselves less with uh, the preservation of life uh, because we have less to lose, basically. It's like money and it's like wealth. Um, the more that you have, the more time you have to spend, if you want to keep it, the more time you have to spend uh, a hold, uh, thinking about how to hold on to it and, and, and not have it uh, drift away from you. But if you have uh, very little, you are in more uh, you are footloose and fancy-free, as they say, although burdened with the... Uh, the, the, the burdened with the, uh, the reality of the fact that you're, you're poverty-stricken and that you have a few resources. Likewise, in our, in our mortal life, we are footloose in France. We are, we are free to endeavor to persevere, to, to get drunk, to, uh, to take chances, to, uh, to, to, to smoke cigarettes, to, uh, to enjoy life and, and to experience uh, the wonders. But the, wall we have, the worst that we have to lose is a couple of decades or a few years off, of, off the top. And uh, as a result, we don't have to concern ourselves as much with uh, other things. We don't have to be so fearful. So this, our, mor our mortality brings courage and uh, gives us a, a, an effervescence, I think, that, uh, and, 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 a, and, a, and a joyful uh, anticipation of the brevity uh, and, and a joyful pleasure of the, of the moments that we do have in anticipation of the brevity and the uh, coming night. That is a, a fascinating thing that I don't think that uh, we think enough about, and I don't think we will think enough about until our, uh, our immortal uh, uh, children look back and uh, realize the blessing that we should once have. Bye-bye.